Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not Xenonauts. But kind of close. It's UFO Enemy Unknown, the playthrough that I was going to say I was going to do a while ago, but haven't really had a chance to get around to doing it. I had a bunch of other series that I wanted to finish up, and I wanted to wait until Xenonauts ended. Unfortunately, Xenonauts ended a bit earlier than I expected it to due to that crash. It actually corrupted my Iron Man save, so it's unrecoverable. Can't really do anything about it, so that series is done for the time being. I'll get back to it in a little bit when the few balance patches go out, I'll reboot the series. And I'll be doing soldier names then, it'll be good fun, but until then, UFO Enemy Unknown should tide most people over. I think. I did start up a game of this uh, about a week or so ago. It didn't go very well at all. This is 5th of January, that was a botched recording, and before that, it was, uh, god, what was it? I think January 20th, my base got attacked, and I ended up losing. And I was like, well, that's not a good way to do this. That's a pretty good way to tease people there. Be all like, hey, look, it's this UFO defense thing that I'm doing, and we end up dying at episode 2. That wasn't good. And then the botched recording, it was... Recording software acting goofy and recording the wrong window, and that's good and fine. We're doing it for realsies this time. I think. Going on veteran difficulty, not superhuman, because I'm not that good at this game. I play Terror from Deep a lot, not this one. Still learning this game. Mind control is enabled, but I refuse to be using it defensively. I will probably use it defensively, like I'll still probably use like the mind shield or whatever it's called in this game. I think it exists. I don't know. I'm not going to use it offensively though because that's boring as frig to watch. Same goes with blaster bombs. Not abusing those. And let's see here. Better difficulty. Iron Man, of course. I will not be loading when something bad happens. I will be saving often in the event of crashes or botched recordings or my recording software deciding, hey, let's record that window instead of this one. Because stuff like that happens from time to time. I think I'm going to go with Asia. For a primary base, this is, I think, still, like, one of the biggest funding nations is Asia, isn't it? Like, Asia and Americas were usually, in Terra from the Deep at least, that was, like, the biggest fundings. I don't know, I think, I think it'd probably be the same here. We'll just go with Yeti Primary Asia Pri... Pr... Mm, mm, Asia... Yeti Asia, there. So then that way when I intercept things, whoops, when I intercept things someday in the future, I'll be able to figure out which ship is which because of which base it's in. Because I will allow myself multiple bases. I'm not doing a one base challenge. I'm not doing an Antarctic challenge. I'm not doing a Pacific challenge. I'm not doing a Hawaii challenge. Just a straight up veteran Iron Man challenge. Molecular control enabled or mind control, whatever it is in this game. Enabled, but I will not use it offensively. Uh, soldier naming. I will not be doing soldier naming for the. Whoops. I will not be soldier naming for this particular playthrough because that that's going to be tricky to do with my tactics here because my tactics are going to be involving sending in suicide victims. Really, um, like an example. Link and damn it, need that, and I need, need another lab. I think too. Well, no, another another living quarters as well. And I guess we, we need another lab at some point. We need another general stores too at some point. How much is that? Eh, fuck it. Throw that on too. We need it eventually. Those hangers will move up there. That living quarters will be next when these get all built up. All right, I'll be sending people to their deaths effectively. And some people who are weak to mind control, I'll probably just shoot in the face and kill them off early on. Well, I, because I can't like figure out, I can't do the size screening or anything like that early on. So, and if I attach a person's name to those soldiers, they're going to feel upset that I just shot them in the face. And then it becomes an issue of do I clone them or grab up a new name or what? And it's just tricky and awful and confusing and I just don't feel like doing it. I will do it for Xenonauts though. Next time I start that up, I will most likely be doing that. Right, eight people still. Good, good, good. It's been a very long time since I played this game. Well, it's been like a week since I played this game. Before a week ago, I haven't played this game in a very long time. Because as I said, Terror of the Deep was the one that I always went with. Okay, probably go rifles with everybody, yeah? Pick up more rifles at some point. It's either that or heavy cannons. I think heavy cannons are like the gas cannons of this game. Hmm. Probably just go with standard rifles, why not? Grenades for everybody, yes. Smoke grenades, yes. I need more smoke grenades. All right, I think that'll be fine, though. We don't have any armor yet. Uh, craft. Interceptor 1. Use... What do you have right now? Stingray? Use Avalanche. One Avalanche and one Stingray. Intercepted two. 
One Stingray. We don't have another Avalanche. Alright, fine. Use another... Use two Stingrays. There we go. And we'll purchase some more Avalanche missiles. A good bit. That's too much source space. That's fine. We have stuff to sell. Pistols, get those out of here. Pistol clips, they're far too weak. Rifle clips, keeping those. Heavy cannons, getting rid of those. They're far too heavy. Auto cannon, far too heavy. Rocket launcher, far too heavy. And let's face it, me with the uh, rocket launcher, probably not a good idea. Oh, is that it? Jesus, all right. That's it for that. We need electro flares and stun rods. We don't need stun rods right away, but we will eventually need them. Electro flares. Need a good bit of those. Let's just go with 28 or so. Two for everybody. We need grenades. Whoa! Don't need that many. Just, uh, I don't know. Eight. Some smoke grenades. Eight. Proximity grenades. Yes, actually. Yes, I would. Would like those. Rifles. Yes. Right, storage space is becoming a major issue. Alright, let's just get clips at least. Yeah! We need soldiers too. Six of them and scientists. That's all of our money. <sighs> well, I hope that's everything we need. I could sell off like the cannons that were on the ships. Opting for the avalanche because if it's anything like Terror from the Deep, it's because I built that general source. I'm not used to that. Yeah. If it's anything like Terror from the Deep, the uh the Avalanche will be like the, what, the DUP torpedoes or something like that? They're much larger range, very powerful, but much larger, larger range. So you can actually shoot people down when you actually intercept them, because a lot of the time they'll just run off, and then you're kind of screwed. Doing a final check, making sure I got everything in the base. I think we're okay. Pastime. Small, very low, heading east. Let's get it. Hmm. They're still rearming. My god. We got this guy pretty soon, didn't we? There we go. That one's ready. Go! Go get it. Do me proud, ship. Oh, please get it over land. That's not over land. And that's over land. Now get it. Aggressive attack. Don't let it get away. It's the preferred small that I like doing. It's not the large scout. Got it! Yeah! Good job. Sky Ranger equipment should be good. Eight dudes, one rifle for each, two clips for each, one grenade for each, and some smoke grenades for some people. And they're all aboard, that's good and fine. I wanted to check. Who do we have anyway? Looking mostly at firing accuracy, time units, and health. Reactions is pretty cool too. Looks like a pretty good squad, actually, to start off with. Some people's bravery is a bit low, but that's fine. Just don't die. Right, let's save over the start session. Save over the backup. Send the Sky Ranger out and let's do this. Again, it's Iron Man, so if I lose everybody on this mission... Ooh! Low heading south. Interceptor 1 is ready. Go get him. Try to, at least. Please get him. Get him over Australia? Tracking lost. No, go find him. Alright, you're worthless. Return to base. <sighs> no matter what happens, it's permanent. Alright, everybody seems to have auto-equipped okay. Throw up a save. Uh, under backup, I guess. And I suppose... Say for snapshot? Sure. Where are we? Are we in a corner? We are not quite in a corner. Uh, well, we're in that corner, I suppose. I guess that's fine. Okay, right off the bat we're being shot at, and we have floaters. Magnificent. There's one right there, but there's also the one who shot you as you got off. It was not this guy as he is facing away from you. 
Shot him in the back, he turns and shoots you in the leg, shoots you in the leg again, and you are certainly dead. One dead rookie. Carl Horton. Neil. Uh... Go for this guy. Nice. You're dead as well. Leon. Yay, there we go. Got him in the neck. Magnificent. And that floater finally using its third reaction fire. I was wondering what it was going to. Not enough time units to turn and fire. Let's send off the next bait. Vladimir Mikhailov. Go for two out of fires. I think this floater is out of time units. So it should be okay. Providing we can hit it. Hmm. Thank you. One more time, should do it. For the love of God, you are all awful at life. Every one of you. Yes! Thank you, Andrea Reynolds. Oh, great. Yeah, sure. Why not? Have another one right outside my ship. There he is. Hi. Crouch. Aimed shot. Nice. You shot the landing gear. Perfect. It's fine. Don't worry. It's not expensive or anything. Vladimir auto fire. Please don't hit her in the back of the head. Please do aim a little better. A little better. A little better. Oh, God. This playthrough will be so painful. You guys are not that bad, come on. Alright. Um. Let's see if we can pull this off. Toss it to her, she'll pick it up. I don't think you can throw it to him because the ramp is weird like that. He can step down though. Turn, face him. Toss it over to him and then he can pick it up. And perhaps he can throw it and land it right on him. No. Don't want to. Please do. Please do. That might be okay. Just for funsies, snapshot. Nice! That should have weakened him enough, and I think the grenade might blow up and kill him now. Yeah! Wow, that was painful. I hate when they're right outside the ship like that. Ugh. Good news is, we got alien alloys. Bad news is, we got nothing else. Some alien artifacts, and we lost two people, but they're rookies, and I don't quite care. Louis Bouchard and Andrea Reynolds are promoted to sergeant. Congratulations to them. That's a rude start to a month. As soon as I get laser pistols, I think I'm going to try to make a run for armor in this game. There's our rifles, grenades, flares, stun rods. We'll worry about that later. Speed up time a bit more. Waiting for the scientists and stuff. Hey, this is a launcher and missile. Avalanche and then Stingray. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're set. You're set. Sell off the cannons. And the cannon rounds. There we go. <sighs> Hey, there's more dudes. All right, and some scientists. Think we're gonna make a run for the armor in this game. So as soon as I do laser pistols, I'll probably head over to the alien alloys and start working on personal armor for dudes. Who'd we get this time? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Huh. All right, I approve. The first one's kind of poop, but the rest are all right. It's a pity they'll all die. Laser pistol's done. Let's go do that. Man, floaters on the first mission. Ugh. Ugh. There we go. 
Spall hauling ass to the southwest. Not sure if we can catch him or not. We'll try it. No, go to last known position. He was slowing down. Head that way. Found him. He's coming back. Over land if you could. Beautiful. Aggressive attack. Ah. Got him. Right. Equip craft. Sky Ranger. Get on everybody that we can. Oops. Everybody that we can. We still need more soldiers. We need money though. That's the thing. Throw on some grenades. Throw on well, enough smoke grenades for everybody. Enough proximity grenades for most people. Grenades for everybody. Don't have enough rifles for everybody. Whoops. I thought I bought more rifles. Well, let's bring that back down to just eight people. Uh, I guess we can keep the sergeants. Let's take off Stefan, because I think he was kind of dick. Take off some random people. There we go. Eight rifles, 16 bullets. Bring that down to eight grenades. Eight smoke grenades. Enough proximities for everybody. Stun rods? Nah. No point. Right. Good. Settled. Should still be daytime by the time we get there. A little afraid though, because it could be the jungle environment, which I do not like. I do not like the jungle. It is not good to me.